Good morning, y'all. I went live early on purpose because I know it's not a lot of y'all up. But um, I'm just so overwhelmed right now with um, just emotions because I couldn't sleep because I really wanted to say this. I want to salute you mothers who are single, like myself, who get up every single day and do the best that you can with your children. Are you perfect? No. But are you consistent? Yes. Sometimes you want to lock yourself in the bathroom and be done with it and call it a day. But you are present and you do the best that you know how to do. I want to let you know that I am so proud of you. Because I don't think people understand how hard it is being a single mother. You are accountable for somebody every single day. When they are successful, you are accountable. But just as much as when they are successful, you are accountable. When they mess up, you are accountable too. And it is so hard because sometimes single mothers are are so criticized about everything with the child but you are present and sometimes you don't know what better what better you can do you have to work you have to you have to provide you have to go to meetings you have to to you know keep things straight in the house keep the house clean make sure the kids are prepared for college make sure the kids have um insurance there are so many things as moms that we have to do and some of us have to do it alone you see if you have somebody who can be responsible for that stuff at least 50 percent of the time i'm not talking to you because you're not single. When you are single, that stuff is hard. And so because of that, I want to say, I commend my single mothers. I commend it. I commend you. Because some people will never know the tears that you cry. And some people think that you should walk around with your head held down because you are a single mom. But you get so much respect from me. I appreciate that you go pull that extra shift so that your child can have the stuff that they want. I appreciate that you love on your children despite your own emptiness. I, I appreciate you. And I realize that there are single dads too. If you are a single dad and you are raising your child on your own, you are exceptional. Thank you for doing what you do. Thank you for being who you are. Because I don't think y'all understand. A man is just as important as a mother. And when you choose to abandon your child, when you choose not to pick up the phone and call your child, do you know what you are doing, male or female? You are creating a person who is empty, who is bitter, who is, is going to be, who can be insecure because they're looking for somebody to fulfill them. How is it that we can believe that it can take two people to make a child, but it doesn't take two people to raise a child? How can we believe that? Or you say, okay, well, I have a crazy baby mama. Why would you let someone stand in between you and the other half of your DNA? You are just as responsible you are just as responsible for that child as the mother is and you have just as much right as that to that child as the mother does so you let the court intervene don't you let a woman stand in between you and having a relationship with your child don't do that and don't 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 let the child go without stuff if you know that you have to go to the store and buy yourself underwear then you already know your child needs underwear you know your child needs a toothbrush you know your child needs a clothes needs clothes come on men Come on now. I'm not saying that every woman who has, who's a single mother is perfect. But some of, some of the, I'm not trying to bash y'all men either. But I'm speaking as a single mom. Some stuff y'all got to do better on. You want to criticize your baby mama so much. But understand, she's doing the best that she can. Are there, some baby mamas are crazy. I'm not going to tell you they're not. Some of them are. But if you are dealing with someone who's trying to use your child as leverage, you need to let the court intervene. You need to let the judge square that thing out. But you do not let use that as an excuse not to be present in your child's life. Do you? How, how is it that you can grow up? Because a lot of y'all single, a lot of y'all men who are absent grew up in homes that were raised by a mother, a single parent home. So how do you know those feelings of emptiness? How is it that you know what it's like to be abandoned by your father or your mother? But when you grow up and have your own children, you do the exact same thing. How is it that you do that? How is it that you know how much it hurts? I remember I would make A's and B's when I was a little girl. And I would see the cafeteria flooded with parents and my mom was not there. I remember that. I remember those feelings. I don't remember all the clothes that she bought me, all the jewelry that she bought me. But I remember how I felt when I looked in the audience and she wasn't in there. Sometimes your children are not looking for items. They're looking for memories. They're looking to know that when they need you, are you there? And I think sometimes y'all miss it. I think you miss it. It is hard being a single mom. And so if you are a single mother, you have the utmost respect for me. I'm not talking about those who are abusive or negli uh, negligent, but I'm talking about ones who do the best that you can with what you have. I am proud of you because I understand what it's like. I understand what it's like. And if you are a father who pays 33 cents a day 
in child support like you are sponsoring a child in the third one country. You need to do better because your child needs more than what you are providing. And I'm not saying money is everything, but some of y'all men act like because y'all pay child support that that compensates for parenting. Child support is not parenting. Child support is not parenting. And in some situations, child support doesn't even cover a percentage of what it takes to raise that child. But there is some type of financial uh, regulation the judge imposes. But it does not mean that your child's needs are met because you pay child support. And I wish I would give a man itemization for what I do with your child support that you may pay every once in a while when I'm responsible for taking care of this child every single day of the week. I'm just saying. Good morning. So I just want to say to my single mothers out there, I appreciate you. I love you. I support you. You got my utmost respect. And I'm not here to bash daddies either. I'm not here to bash you, but I want to let you know that you got to do better. If you know that you can do better, then do better. Good morning. He said, good morning, everybody. This is my reason right here. These are my reasons. My other baby is asleep. These are my reasons. My reasons. I'm a single mom and I get it. These are my reasons. These are my reasons. I pray to God to help me provide for these children. I'm not perfect. I'm a hot mess mom. The teachers will tell you. But I'm accountable. I'm responsible for my children. So my single mothers out there, I love you. You have my utmost respect. Keep doing what you do. I'm proud of you. Pat yourself on the back. Don't always be so hard on yourself. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.